here's another question that was sent in to us. I would like to know why we are an archdiocese. And is the responsibility of a bishop higher than an archbishop? Good questions. In order to answer this, I must say a few things about the structures of the Catholic Church. Firstly, the most basic and necessary structure in the Catholic Church is the diocese. The diocese is a geographical region of parishes and churches, all under the care of a bishop and the priests and other ministers who assist him. It is the diocese and the bishop that makes everything else possible. Now, I'm not just saying this because I'm a bishop. Uh, this was established even by the first hundred years after Jesus' resurrection. As we know, Jesus' closest group of followers were the Twelve Apostles. They were the ones who witnessed all that Jesus said and did, and passed on this good news until their deaths, almost all of them by martyrdom. The Twelve set out from Jerusalem and founded Christian communities throughout the then known world. They would lay hands on others and ordain them as bishops or overseers in their own right. It was their duty then to continue what the apostles had started, to protect and to preserve these newly founded Christian communities. You know, it's amazing how quickly Christianity spread in the first few centuries, despite fierce persecution from Roman emperors and others who rejected the faith. Soon every town or city had its own bishop, along with presbyters or priests and deacons. This structure multiplied throughout the Christian world. At the beginning of the second century AD, St. Ignatius of Antioch wrote letters to several of these early Christian communities as he awaited his trial and martyrdom in Rome. And he spoke in very clear terms about the bishop's essential place in the Christian community. The same thought has continued to our own day. Over time, these communities not only grew, but also became more defined in how they were organized. There developed what we now call ecclesiastical provinces. An ecclesiastical province is a cluster of dioceses which are gathered around an archdiocese. The bishop of an archdiocese is called an archbishop. You know, when school children ask me about archbishops, I point out that the prefix arche means old. Archives, for instance, are old documents. If something is archaic, that means it comes from a previous century. So an archbishop is an old bishop, not necessarily in age, but in terms of seniority. So when we apply this to our situation, our diocese is the Archdiocese of Gruard MacLennan. I am the archbishop of this ecclesiastical province of Gruard MacLennan. There are two other dioceses near us that also make up our ecclesiastical province. These are the Diocese of Mackenzie Fort Smith, which is in the Northwest Territories, and the Diocese of Whitehorse, which is made up of the Yukon Territory and part of Northern British Columbia. The bishops of these dioceses, Bishop Yon Hansen and Bishop Hector Villa, are called my suffragan bishops, and they call me their Metropolitan Archbishop. We often speak together about various matters, and they will ask for my advice, but I cannot tell them what to do. They are still the valid bishops of their own diocese. Most dioceses begin as a vicariat, and these are dependent on the Holy See in the Vatican for much help in their beginnings. In northern Canada, all the vicariates were made into dioceses in 1968, after the celebration of Canada's 100th anniversary. Among the many dioceses in northern Canada, Gruard MacLennan in Alberta and Kiwait and the Pa in Manitoba became metropolitan archdioceses. So why are we in Gruard MacLennan an archdiocese and others a diocese? This has largely to do with history. In the early 1800s, there was only one diocese for all of the Canadian West, and that was the Diocese of St. Boniface, now part of the city of Winnipeg. From those beginnings, other vicariates were formed in the many regions of the Canadian Northwest. In our case, the vicariate of Mackenzie Athabasca became two distinct vicariates. In 1901, Father Emile Gruard, a highly respected oblate missionary, became the bishop of the Athabasca Vicariate, 
placing his cathedral in what is now the town of Gruard. We are an archdiocese largely because of Bishop Gruard, who was a very venerable historical figure in the development of the Catholic Church in this region. All bishops, whether archbishops or bishops, share what we call the threefold mandate in their diocese. They are to sanctify, to teach, and to govern. In all three of these tasks, there are other people that the bishop calls upon to help him. I hope this lesson is fruitful to you in your understanding of the Church. I look forward to receiving many more of your questions. Until next time.